Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to decrypt and remove password protection from a zip file using the Cloudmersive file processing connector in Power Automate. Let's dive right in. As always, I'm first clicking Create and setting up an instant cloud flow so I can have full control over my data during this demonstration. Once that's done, I'm clicking Create again at the bottom and heading to the Flow Diagram page. From here, we first need to grab our encrypted and password protected zip file. Normally, I use SharePoint to demonstrate operations like this, but someone mentioned they had difficulty placing the results of this connector in OneDrive, so I'll be using OneDrive today. To get my file, I'm setting up a OneDrive get file content action, and once the file ID populates, I'm ready to move on. Now let's open a new step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, let's select the Cloudmersive file processing connector with the purple logo from the list of options below. As a quick aside, if you haven't used this connector before, you'll be asked to authenticate access with an API key, which you can get by registering a free account on our website. Once you enter that in here, you won't have to worry about this step in the future, and you'll jump straight to the actions like I did. Once we're looking at the actions list, let's type decrypt, remove password, and select the right action when it comes up below. Within this action, we simply need to parse in dynamic content from our get file content step, and then give our file a relevant name, and after that, include the password for the encrypted zip file in the final request parameter. Once these three steps are satisfied, all that's left is to create or update our file with the output from this connector. To do that, let's click New Step once again and bring up either the Update or Create File actions. I'm using the Create File action so I can have two copies of this file at the end, but you should of course do whatever works best for you for your project. After I select my new files folder path and give my file a new name, my final step is to click on the File Content field and add the Body Output option from the Cloudmersive Connector step. It's important to note at this point that you may encounter a strange bug with Power Automate's dynamic content display here like I did. For reasons I don't fully understand, the Body Output option won't show up when my browser is fully open, but it will show up when my browser is half size or minimized. Again, this may not be an issue on your browser, but once you briefly minimize the page, you can easily select the output content option and use that to create your new zip file. Now that we're finished designing the flow, let's quickly save and test and make sure the new file shows up the way we want it to. After confirming my connections and running my flow, I'm skipping over to the OneDrive folder I placed the file in. As expected, I now have a decrypted zip file with no password protection on it, which can be opened and viewed easily. With our demonstration complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this product helpful, please feel free to check out dozens of additional Power Automate Connector demos on our channel.